striving for the hope of God who does not disappoint. This is how Pope John Paul II, in his letter Orientale Lumen, described the Eastern Church's way to overcome pessimism, striving for the hope of God who does not disappoint. We are faithful to what gave birth to us and to what we have not yet fully become, what the Lord wants us to become, and thus seeking ever new ways of fidelity. Is that actually our experience? Is it not really easier to slip into pessimism rather than to be optimistic? We find it easier to be negative than positive, to be apathetic than to try to improve the situation. We find comfort in the fact that, quote, it's not as bad as it could be and that others have it worse. Perhaps, as with our bodily health, declines tend to be noticed quickly, whereas growth and healing are slow and less noticed. Individually, and as a church and a society, we are experiencing serious challenges. Others are not doing what they're supposed to do. I don't have what it takes to do what is expected of me. It is easy to fall prey to negativism, to pessimism, indeed to despair, and that leads to apathy. Abysmal is the word Bishop Thomas Tobin of Rhode Island gave for this apathy in regard to same-sex marriage. This is no time for believing that our efforts are futile. God has invited us to join him as his body. At evening prayer recently in the Greek Melkite Catholic Cathedral in Amman, Jordan, Pope Benedict XVI commented on how the Eastern churches there are alive, how our traditions are not being passively preserved. He said, All Christians are called to respond actively to the Lord's mandate to bring others to know and love him. The Holy Father reminds all that the Eastern churches share the command of Jesus Christ to be active in participating in the universal mission of the church without restriction. He told us, Your Christian faith is certainly not restricted to the spiritual solicitude you bear for one another and your people, essential though that is. The Pope called us, quote, to embrace this task with vigor and to engage resolutely with the pastoral realities of today, using our special spiritual, liturgical, and ecclesiastical traditions which point to God's universal goodness and his will seen throughout history to draw all into his divine life. He reflected on the image of God as actively present in his creation, even as the forces of evil are at work creating darkness in our world. He said, We recognize spiritual struggle. We acknowledge the daily need to move into Christ's life, to choose life, to seek truth. This is our challenge. We dare not allow ourselves to be negative, to become apathetic, to give up, to despair. The world needs us. We remember that Christ and only Christ is the hope for the world. Hope is what the 40th anniversary of our eparchy is all about. Hope is what we're all about.